we're going back to your newest book now. How did, heaven. About heaven. How does heaven break into our everyday lives? <laughs> you know, heaven is That's breaking what I need. in I need heaven in every my life. single day. Amen. And one of the biggest ways that heaven breaks in is with angels. Thank you. I am telling you that in my lifetime, even when I was lost, yeah. God breaks in with his angels, and you don't know. You may have angels all around you right now. You know, in unless they're on military business, mm -hmm. they'll have their wings on. Mm -hmm. But most of them, you can't see their wings because the Lord has them on assignment, and their assignment is to come and help us yeah. because Amen. we are the jewel crown of God's creation, and he sends angels. Mm. Heaven broke into your family's life during an incident involving your daughter. Yes. Yes. So this was years ago. Our daughter, who is now, I think she is going to be 39 on her birthday. Um, she was just an infant. She wasn't, she was just a few months old and she had, she had kicked off of me. I, back then you had to heat the bottle up on the stove. Oh yeah. <laughs> you had to be careful that the bottom of the water didn't touch the baby. And so she flipped out of my arms. She fell. She hit her head. Mm. Long story short, we had to ship her in an ambulance a couple hours away. I get there. The police are waiting for me, Pastor, because it's, it's child neglect. I mean, you, your kid hit his head. Her brain is swelling. As God would have it, there happened to be a, uh, an infant brain doctor who was in the area skiing, and he came into the hospital. And so it didn't look good for her. Her brain is swelling. It didn't look good. And I went down to the chapel. I told Mike, I said, I have to go talk to God. Now, I rarely ever talked to God back then. But I have to go talk to God. I get in this chapel. And so that, you know, you had to take the elevator down. I go in the chapel. I'm sitting there. I'm crying. I'm frustrated. And all of a sudden, this angel, this man, I don't know he's an angel yet. This man, an elderly man, comes walking in. He takes his cane and he whacks me with it. Whack, <laughs> for real. He whacks me with this cane. And he goes, what are you doing here? I said, if it's any of your business, I'm praying to God. And he goes, no, you're not. This is how you pray. And he yeah. says, what do you need? Yeah. Not what do you want? What do you need? I need God. I need God to step in right now. Amen. You know, the scriptures teach that God answers the desperate prayers of yes. people. I need God to step in and I need him. And he goes, and this is how you pray. You, you, you show respect. You show honor yes. to the king of glory. And I'd never thought of these things. And while this angel helped direct me in my prayer, mm -hmm. all of a sudden I knew that God had heard me. And there was such a, such a comfort to know that he's heard me. Yeah. God listens. Mm. He's the only God who listens. And I knew she's going to be fine. And I looked to the left or right, and this man who had been helping me, Pastor, he's gone. Mm. So I go running out into the hallway, down the hallway. The elevator is still at the bottom. No one has called the elevator up. Well, I was just so excited. I ran upstairs. I, I went to our daughter's room. They had her all strapped down. Her little head was strapped down. I say to Mike, and he's extremely worried. Yeah. I said, oh, don't worry. It's going to be fine. The man downstairs, the guy who whacked me with his cane, he's going to help us. God heard our prayer. She's going to be fine. And that child, even wow. though they said all these negative things That's was right. going to happen, Amen. but God, and you yes. know, God Amen. is coming to the lost people. Yes. Why? Yes. God comes to the lost because he wants us to know how much he loves us. You know, it's the kindness of God that leads men to repentance. Yes. Sure He's breaking in every day, Pastor. His angels are all around. You know, only one third of the angels yeah. turned into demons. Yeah. That's right. So that left two thirds. And that's where we stop. We think, well, there's only two thirds of the angels left. But we're wrong because God is still creating. He never stopped creating. Yeah. And so now there are even more angels than there was Amen. before. And we are on the winning side. Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. Yeah. That's right. Lord, in your book, you talk about angels yeah. uh, in heaven. Uh, that, but you say angels don't understand choices. <laughs> that's true. Right? Can you explain that? Yes, Pastor, you know, we have been gifted with something called a choice. Mm -hmm. Yes. But angels were never given that opportunity. An angel automatically obeys the will of God. Mm -hmm. and, and Satan tried 
He tried to come up with a choice to steal God's glory, and hell was created for right. Satan and all the demons. So my angel, many times the Lord will say, Lori, do this. I'm getting better. But the Lord will say, Lori, do this. And I'll think about it. And my angel will be there and be like, what are you doing? <laughs> they look at us like we are stupid. And, and if you're not <laughs> obeying God, you really are being stupid, right? right? So this angel looks at me like, you have to obey. They're quick to obey. And if so I believe everybody has an angel. There are some people with the, with the cross that God has given you to bear, and a cross is not just whatever sad, hard thing is happening to you. Your cross is just like Jesus' cross. You were made with a plan and a purpose, and your cross is to finish what God gave you yeah. to do. That's your cross. Amen. And so when the angel Amen. hears that God wants you to do this, then your mm -hmm. angel has been assigned to help you get that done. They're, they're quick to obey the Lord, and so should we be. You know, the reason why um, I, I have been able to accomplish what I've been able to accomplish is because God asked for it. Mm -hmm. And in that, I mean, I can't do it. But his Holy Spirit That's and right. his angels come around yeah. and God sends others. He sends us together. The body of Christ yeah. comes together and we help one another achieve what it is that we need to get done. That's right. You know, yeah. whatever it is that you need to get done, it's a good thing that the body of Christ is around you. And so are these mighty yeah. angels. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Yeah.